You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, and Greg Garrett. It's Key Budge in here today at uh, To Hatch a Pod mini version. And uh, joining me is Nicole Hamlin from Hashtag Love to Hatchby. Nicole, welcome back to To Hatch Pod. Thank you, Key, for having me and always supporting Hashtag Love to Hatchby. We are great partners, fun partners with the city, and we appreciate all you guys do for us. It's that back and forth. You guys love Tehachapi. I mean, it truly is. And you go out and you do things for the community. And then we try to support where we can as a government agency. And the positive impact is just there. I mean, people talk about it. So what's some of the feedback that you've seen with some of the things you guys have been doing over the last couple of years? I'm sure you've you've heard some positive, got some positive feedback. Definitely. I think one of the, it, maybe it doesn't always come across as positive, but just the shock and awe that people will do things that um, we kind of covered this before, but just there's no strings attached. There's no, you don't have to, you know, request help. You just, sometimes we just show up. Sometimes we, we know that you need help, but sometimes we just surprise you. So there's really no, if you will, rhyme or reason. So I think that's one of the positives is it just, it, it's just, there's not a lot of rules behind it. That's what makes it fun. It's kind of pretty low key and fun. Another positive is that people are seeing just more joy, more joy in our city and then neighbors helping neighbors. You know, you want to live in a city where you know people are supporting you and um, they have your back. So that's a positive. The, the neighbor helping neighbor is the biggest takeaway that I see that I'm able to tell people about. And for those people that maybe haven't heard about hashtag love attached because we've, we've jumped in, Nicole leads this brilliant team of community volunteers that absolutely love our community. And they're always asking, is there a senior citizen? Is there someone maybe has financial difficulty? Is there someone that's just in need that might need help with yard work or whatever it is? And you guys are there as volunteers to step in and just try and help and make a a brighter day, uh, give people some hope and say, wow, we are neighbors. And that's I, I've seen it gone out and on these day events that you do that you it becomes infectious and people who who just go wow what, you, you want to help me okay and then they're helping someone from two blocks down that they haven't met before in their neighborhood and and it's infectious yeah and I think you you spot on key in the it spreads right when you when somebody is made to feel good they love that feeling and they think oh how can I make somebody else feel good and so actually a lot of our volunteers always come out of an event that we do because they come back to us and go I want to be a part of that next time and so that's what's exciting is that you know our volunteer base has really just grown organically there's no I mean there was no again we don't have requirements for volunteers you don't have to meet a certain you know we don't ha- ask for your resume or anything like that we just say hey if you are interested in supporting to be loving on people and spreading joy that's all that's all we all we do well let's talk about what's coming up what's the next event that you've got in the queue yes yeah, Saturday April 23rd so it'll be the the Saturday after Easter on Saturday that day throughout to Hatchby, we will be doing the spreading joy serving and loving on people in some fun and exciting ways um, I want to kind of keep some of it a surprise because we don't uh, we just like to sometimes do that shock a little um, pop-up exactly kind of, uh, yeah. love that yeah. you're gonna spread yeah but I I will put in some teasers that there will be about four or five different teams this time in our city. We are bringing back one of our favorites because it is April and it is Earth Day that week. We are very big fans and supporting keeping our city streets, our neighborhoods, our lots as clean as we can. Key, you know that the wind is not in our favor here in Tehachapi, but so we do have some teams that are excited about joining what we call our trash crew. They get to wear the high-vis vest. Um, the city helps us with the grabbers and the gloves, and they just get excited. It's actually a really fun crew to be a part of because the city is so supportive. Um, we pick up the trash, and then the city is helpful in getting those bags and putting it where it needs to go. But that that's something that all ages can do. Because like they have the grabber. So if you're not wanting to bend over and get the trash, we got the grabber for you. But families come out. I've seen 
businesses come out with their their employees. They like to do that. So again, that's um, that is one that's going to happen. Um, and then we've got a couple. Like I said, don't want to reveal too much, but um, there will be some definite surprises. I will give a teaser. There's a sign that will get popped up um, hopefully tomorrow that says Love Touch be coming soon. So I will um, say if people can find that sign in the city, that will give you a clue to one of the locations we will be at. But again, yeah, we have um, volunteers signing up. Key, I will mention that it's not too late to have people come join us. Like I said, we have a couple different crews that you can help on, and we don't require anything from you. Love to Hatchby provides all the funding, all the supplies, all that. We just need manpower. So how do I sign up? The easiest way right now is to reach out to me personally via email, and that's simple. It's Nicole at NicoleHamblin.com. And the reason I say email is because then I just put you on that Love to Hatchby email list and then you just get the know. You get to know what's going on and where we need help. We do have a Facebook page that is Love to Hatchby on Facebook. So if you want to reach out through there too, I usually do that email, get it out to you. And then if you see something that you want to volunteer in or join, then I get you hooked up that way and you're good to go. I do want to mention this time, in the past events, we've done all-day events, we've done hour events. These crews that will go out on Saturday, April 23rd, it's a two-hour window. A couple of them are from 10 to noon, um, and then we have a couple that are from noon to 2. So it's a real, I feel very brief you know, two hours out of your Saturday that you, I promise you, I always tell people you get your money back guarantee that if you don't leave Love to Hatch Be Event Day feeling some type of joy and excitement after you volunteer, come talk to me and I'll take care of you. But I've never, I've never in three years had anybody come cash in their, their rebate on that. So yeah, it's just a fun time. It's fun to, to be a part. And there's something about watching other people be happy and get loved on that just it it touches you and it's something that is infectious like we said earlier it's something as as easy as a smile and a hello and acknowledgement can change your day and this you put in even more effort to let them know there's individually special so that really kind of sends that positive energy what i've seen is those people that have received or witnessed it that come back and say i want to be a part of this to to assist and uh, make someone else feel as special as I did. Yes. Again, you know, because that is how we spread, right? We spread that. And so when we started back in 2019, it wasn't as big. You know, it, it, it obviously, you know, has grown since then. And I think uh, I always like to point out our volunteers. I cherish and I, our volunteers are precious to me. We never over ask. We never over task them. And that's partly because we do know that they're giving of their time, especially on a Saturday. We are we are busy people. We have families um, and all that. So I just anybody listening know that this is not something we you know, we're not going to beat your door down and ask you every weekend. Um, we try to do just two events a year, spring and fall. So because we love you and we thank you for what you do. It's an honor to get to um, manage or direct whatever the word is. I don't I don't see it as a job at all. I see it as just getting to be a part of something so great. But there's things for people to do behind the scenes and in front of people. So volunteers, if you're interested, we would love to have you join us. And that's send an email to Nicole. It's N-I-C-H-O-L-E at Nicole Hamlin, also with an H, and uh, dot com. And then, and if you don't, and if you have any problems, you can always send an email to me and I'll get it to Nicole. It's at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Nicole, I also want to press out, no one is on salary. This is 100% volunteer across the board. This isn't someone that's, you're organizing, getting paid, and then you organize these events. No, 100% volunteerism. Yes. Yeah. I, and I thank you, Key, for pointing that out. You know, in today's day and age, there are always a lot of questions of what does that look like behind the scenes? Yeah. Nobody's, nobody's making money off of this. This is, and when you bring that up, the thing that came to my mind is Love to Hatchby is also a huge supporter of our city businesses, our local businesses. So when we put on an event, we actually do not ask for donations. So we don't go to local businesses and ask for donations. We pay for what we are gifting away. So an example in the past, we have gifted away coffee gift cards. So we will go to Commons Coffee or Starbucks Coffee and purchase those gift cards. There have been times that a business will say, oh, we want to donate towards or we want to take a dollar off for you. Awesome. But we don't ask. And the reason we don't do that is because these businesses in our city 
they need our support. They need our, you know, and that is very precious to us too. So there are so many businesses and in the city that are so generous and are constantly donating. And we recognize that. So we don't want to burden that by asking for that more. But again, so we try always to purchase and that money is generously donated over the year to us so that Love Can Hatchby can do what we do. I'm glad you brought that up because we do have physical manpower, but we also have people that support us um, financially. It's such a, a special event. And again, you mentioned started in, in 2019, a part of the neck, the Chief Crager's program of improving the neighborhoods. And you guys came out in mass and it just, boom, yeah. you're off and running and you're able to continue to do this, which is appreciated. You know, we here at the city are like, we're all in to support and say, yes, whatever it is you guys want to do, we want to be behind you to, to provide the, you know, whatever we can yeah. as a government agency. So right. thank you from... Yeah. Our standpoint, Thanks. we notice a difference. We all want to be into Hatchby and we want to make it the best. Yeah. So working in relationship is our number one. So again, the next opportunity is going to be Saturday, April 23rd from 10 a.m. to 12. And also there's going to be some 12 to 2. You reach out to Nicole, N-I-C-H-O-L-E. That's Nicole at NicoleHamlin.com. And then Nicole can get you signed up in whatever area you'd like to do it. And she can kind of talk a little further about what the other areas are. And then also a reminder that on the, the day before that, on Friday the 22nd, we will have the Salvation Army. We'll be doing some litter pickup along with the Tatchby Area Association of Realtors, Starbucks, and there's some other entities that might be coming forward to help join in and doing more litter removal in different areas. So both groups have come and said, hey, where can we help? So we've kind of split things up so we're not overlapping and we can really make the entire city as beautiful as possible. But it, it's done thanks to volunteers. Nicole, thank you. Thank you to all the volunteers. And uh, we just greatly appreciate it. Thank you, Key. Thank you for always supporting us and in, in this platform of allowing people to hear about what we're doing and such a great podcast. And it's the award winning hashtag love to Hatchby. We didn't touch on it, but your group was recognized by the current council of governments for your community involvement. So we'll acknowledge that for you and say, thank you again. Thank you. Key. All right, folks, again, media at to Hatchby city hall. If you've got any questions or Nicole with an H Nicole at NicoleHamlin.com, and we'll get you involved here in one of these great Love to Hatchby and, and Earth Day events. And we appreciate your time here on To Hatchapod, and we'll catch you again soon. To Hatchapod is a conversation about To Hatchapi designed for the people who live here or who would like to know more about this mountaintop community. If you have a question you would like answered, email media at tehatchapicityhall.com. We will try to answer it on a future episode of To Hatchapod.